Hello everyone, Impy Hater here. Welcome back to my newcomer's guide to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. This is part four. So in the last episode, we ended up fighting Gobu Masataka Oniwa, the guy on the horse. And we beat him, and we also got the Ashina texts as well. Which is actually what we're going to go ahead and uh, utilize real quick to acquire some skills. And then we're going to go ahead and travel. Now, we can pretty much go to two separate places right now. And tackle two different, completely different sets of uh, enemies, bosses, and mini bosses. But I personally think that, that the Ashina outskirts has the easier group of mini bosses, kind of to start off with, um, compared to the Harada Estate. Though there is a ninja that we're going to be dealing with that we're actually going to be tackling at the Harada Estate first, so you can get acclimated before we do him in at the Ashina outskirts. So let's go ahead and head to the Ashina outskirts. We're going to go to the Ashina Castle door. Russian Castle Gate, sorry. So I'm going to climb up here and I'm going to go ahead and equip the shurikens. There's some dogs out here that we can deal with. Alright, so we got them dead, as well as a guy who decided to chase us. So, got the item that was right here. And then, we're gonna go ahead and go up here. Kind of a shortcut or secret section. Pop up here, we're going to come and grab this light coin purse. Turn around, and then we're gonna go over here, and you're gonna get a spirit emblem. And then you can see some items in the distance. We're going to make a leap for it and grapple over to this tree. Got a Gashin Sugar and a Scrap Iron. These enemies will fall once you grab that, so just back off. You'll be fine. So there are two of these Taro Troop members here. I'm going to try to deal with this one first by ledge hanging, dropping, and killing him that way. I'm going to kill this guy. So these guys can be dealt with with firecrackers. When they do that, you want to back off. Be an opportunity to do a, a Ichimanji against them, by the way. Alright, so we've gotten all the items out here. Now we're going to kind of progress in. We're really tiny. Got an eavesdrop opportunity here. I'm going to kill the guy on the right first. Okay, so we're about to be against a mini boss. Um, we're going to want the Shinobi Firecrackers. This is a blazing bull. Part of its head is basically on fire. So uh, we want to have it chase us around and destroy the stuff that's in the area. And then we want to be the ones that are chasing it. So the only reason why we're going to let it chase us at first is to uh, destroy the things in the area so that we don't get stopped in our tracks when we're trying to move around. So 
But uh, once you begin fighting this thing, you basically need to be on its ass the entire time. Uh, you need to be chasing it. Don't let it chase you. And you need to stay, stay away from its front because it will light you on fire. Uh, if you want to, you can go ahead and equip the Withered uh, Red Gourd, but again, uh, the entire goal is to actually avoid the front of this thing, because otherwise um, you are going to get uh, lit on fire. So, when we move forward, it's going to come out. So again, we're going to let it chase us. This enemy, by the way, is an all health boss. This is not a posture boss. And I also don't recommend keeping blocked on the entire time. Just when you get close. do that eventually he's going to tucker himself out he's gonna fall once he falls you can go and kill him We got a prayer bead for our troubles. The door behind us is now locked. What? The enemy is still alive. What? What about the bull? Where's the bull? All right, so we have beaten the bull. Go ahead and talk to this woman, by the way. She'll tell you a little bit about Sempu Temple. She's basically telling us where we should go. That's also a trigger for some other things as well later. All right, so we'll go ahead and rest here. I don't know why I rested twice. And actually we got one skill we can acquire. We'll go ahead and acquire Descending Carp. This is basically a latent skill, so it doesn't actually give us any special abilities, but it does, um, after a deflection, it increases damage to enemy posture from all sources. So we definitely want to have uh, Descending Carp, Ascending Carp. Uh, we're going to be getting Ichimanji Double eventually. Um, flowing Water will be important. Breath of Nature Light will be super important. Really, everything along this chain for the Ashina Arts is super important for us to have. So we are going to be heavily focusing on uh, some of these abilities. So otherwise, though, before we move on, we're actually going to cross over here. I heard, uh, Got an eavesdrop opportunity. And then we're going to want to kill this guy. Okay, so we just got the gatehouse key. Uh, the gatehouse key opens up the door over there. There's a door into that building. So we're actually going to be heading that way here in a little bit. However, 
the actual way to get out there, uh, if we if we go kind of this sideways way here, we won't open the actual door leading here, which is kind of weird. So I'm actually going to kill some enemies over here first, and then we're going to teleport back to the other idol. So I'm going to drop off here. Kill this guy. So we just got some contact medicine. So this is going to be uh, good against the poison status anomaly. Kill that guy, got a heavy coin purse, got some more scrap iron, and then we got a guy down here. So this one, we got a Mibu Balloon of Spirit now. So this one is going to increase our chances of obtaining Spirit Emblems. So in addition to the Mibu Possession Balloon, Mibu Balloon of Wealth. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and use the Homeward Idol. We're gonna go back to the last communed with Idol and then open up the proper shortcut to the upper section of this place. So we got a remnant in here you can talk to and kind of hear some more story beats. Otherwise, we're going to head over here. Open up this. We're going to open up this as well. There's some more upgrade materials over here. Another maybe a possession balloon. Then we're going to drop down here for another pellet. And you might recognize this area. This is actually where we found Lord Kuro. Uh, we also fought our first mini boss uh, right out here. So grab the idol. Uh, we got another opportunity to get a... I want to get a sending carp next. I think I'm going to wait until we get another level. So, there's an eavesdrop opportunity here. Uh, in addition, there are some dogs here. We're going to go ahead and climb up here, deal with the dogs. We don't want to go down there yet. As you can see, there are two Taro troop members. Otherwise, come over here. We're going to climb up this. So we want to kill this guy. Otherwise, he'll wake the, the dead with his clanking. Okay, so before we actually continue, I want to point out what's over here. So you can come talk to this guy. Beautiful. Hey. Hey. What? Uh, He's hearing some kind of noise. Someone. I've, I have not. He wants to know if we've heard it too. We'll eventually be going down there. However, the way that we're going to do it is we're going to come up here. Now you can see that there's an uh, enemy down there. That is actually a mini boss and he's a ninja. We're actually going to be facing a version of this guy who only has one death blow over in the Hirata estate. That'll help us better prepare for this version, though uh, we can get a um, stealth death blow off of him by dropping onto him. We're going to be in a very contained space in this particular fight, so I don't recommend doing this fight quite yet. So for now, we'll go, we'll go ahead and leave. So this is where we use the gatehouse key.
And we get the end of a spear here. Eventually we're gonna turn this into a prosthetic tool. Grab the heavy coin purse, and then you can see that there's an item under the floor there, so we're gonna pop into here, grab another ceramic shard. Out here we have another enemy. Down here we have another. Uh-oh. There's also a mini boss up there. We're going to be dealing with him here in a few minutes. So at least I've separated them. Okay, that was fun. Drop down here for another pellet, and then we're going to kill that guy. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and drop off here. That way we can get a stealth on him. Is there another remnant in here for you to discover? So the way that this fight works is uh, this guy has got the pole arm slash spear and we're going to of course death blow him for his first death blow meter but for the other one we basically he's basically going to end up hitting us with a wide variety of different spear attacks but um, kind of the secret to this particular fight is going to be that he's going to do a thrusting attack and he loves doing thrusts with this thing. And we want to catch that with a Mercury counter. And probably half the time that he does the thrust attack, uh, he's going to end up um, trying to follow up our Mercury counter with a swing. And if we're able to deflect that swing, it will stagger him. And uh, we'll actually want to use Ichimanji on him afterwards. Uh, we can probably get it in twice if we're quick about it. But uh, that's going to be really beneficial for us if we are able to uh, get that off. So um, I'm going to go ahead and say fire crackles will be fine. Not worried about fire. If you want to use the Akko sugar, you can. Again, I'm trying not to burn through them if I can avoid it. But um, in this case, let's go ahead and do it. So he's got, of course, a swipe. There's there's the first version of his thrusting attack. Uh-oh, I didn't realize that dude was still alive.
he took that to the face. There's the other version. Oh, no, it's not. There's the other version. And now he's staggered. This would be a good idea to get the Enchimanji out of that. So I've got another prayer bead. Yeah, I kind of goofed with letting that one dude live. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and come back here. We're going to rest. And we're going to go get another mini boss. And then we're going to go to the Harada estate. Actually, I think we're going to unlock a vendor first. So, uh, there is a mini boss up there surrounded by a bunch of gunmen. So, we're going to go ahead and climb. I'm sure you are all aware already. This coming battle will determine the fate of all Ashina. We go now to risk our lives for Lord Ishii and the peoples of Ashina. So we're going to try to run around and get these guys really quickly. Now we are alone. This guy is very similar to the guys that we faced before. This guy will do a thrust, by the way. Now we got another prayer bead. Divine Grass gives us basically a, a full vitality as well as cures all stats abnormalities. I generally only recommend using these when you really need it. For example, you are up against a maybe one of the final bosses, final three bosses, and you're struggling, but you're at the very end of the fight, <laughs> and you're like, I need more, I need more. So you can use that. Come around here, grab a Mibu balloon of wealth, and then we're gonna drop down here and talk to this guy. You uh, you look like that's right. And that's some. So uh, this is a vendor. However, he wants us to kill all of the enemies around us before he will, um, well, vend it to us.
So decide who you want to kill first. I don't like uh, guys with uh, with spears, so we're gonna kill him first. So got a fistful of ash. Got scraps and we got a guy who's attacking us from afar. We'll deal with him later. For now, just kill this guy. Yeah. Oh, forgot that. Okay, so now we're gonna go back up here and talk to the guy that we have freed. You're a real here. See you, pal. All right, so we're gonna go through here. And now we have four prayer beads, so now would be a good time for us to go ahead and consume some. We now have a second prayer necklace. And I'm going to go ahead and travel over to the dilapidated temple, get us a spear. This will also be the time when I guess we go ahead and get our first upgrades. So we're basically going to be getting stuff down both of these paths. Um, I would say the most useful shinobi tools are going to be definitely the shurikens and the firecrackers. And these are basically wind-up versions of both of these. So we're actually going to end up buying both of these. And from here, we're going to go ahead and acquire some skills. We are at three, almost four now. So I'm going to go ahead and acquire Ascending Carp. And we're going to keep going through down this line here to get these as well. Eventually, we're going to come back to get some of these items too. So look out, look forward for that. So the primary things that we're going to do for prosthetic tools, by the way, are going to end up being um, mid-air prosthetic tools. We're also going to get uh, potency increases as well. And then we are going to go for mid-air deflection, mid-air combat arts eventually. But for now, that's going to be kind of what we sit with. So let's see. We have a vendor over here now, so we can go ahead and start buying stuff from him. So it's worth mentioning, I think I mentioned it before, but uh, the items that he has, uh, you can purchase. And the items that actually have a count next to them, he has a limited number of. So I usually go for those items first. So he has a gourd seed. And that'll give me a thousand, uh, two thousand, sorry. 
So I'll go ahead and buy the gourd seed. We'll go talk to Emma. I'm glad. Give it to her. Goodbye. All right. So now we got a fifth gourd to work with. And now we're going to travel back to the Harada estate and go to the thicket slope. And we're going to progress this area now too. Got a spirit emblem there. Pop up to here. We're going to come back for those two enemies here in a moment. Uh, stealth kill this guy. All right, so now we're going to climb up these stairs. I'm actually gonna skip out on a few of these enemies because one of these guys, this guy right here likes to run. So we're gonna kill him first. Okay, so they're dead. So that item in the distance is what we're gonna go for now that they are dead. So that's some dowsing powder, deal with fire. By the way, up here is actually nothing. Kind of a good place to uh, kill enemies from, however, so. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use the axe as well as the spring loaded firecrackers. I'm going to run part past the Taro troop guy. These guys really do hit like a truck. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and grab this fistful of ash. And we're gonna climb up the stairs here and run into Owl. So he's gonna give us the hidden temple key. This is required for progressing the area. That's gonna be blocked off. However, we are actually going back there. So come up here and then we're gonna just jump over here. And we're gonna jump into the water off on the left-hand side here because we're gonna go after uh, one of the ninjas. Let's see. So I've got a carp to get.
So if you don't feel that you're prepared for this, uh, you can go back to the, um, what do you call it? The idol. This should be enough for me though. So I want to do consecutive wall jumps as it says there, and I'm gonna clear this out. So there is our goal right there. So this guy, we basically want to be aggressive with him. Uh, and if we're aggressive with him, then he will basically start doing this kind of kick combo. And basically there are four hits. And then the final one is going to be a thrusting kick that you can do a Makiri counter against. If we can get him to repeat that a couple of times, we can pretty much nail this guy pretty easy. But if you're not aggressive enough with this enemy, this guy can seriously mess you up. So you do have to be super aggressive with this enemy. So I'm gonna go ahead and use Akko Sugar. There it is. And there he goes. So again, be aggressive with him. So we now got Mist Raven's Feathers. This allows us to use the Mist Raven ability, which is a prosthetic tool that whenever we use it, an enemy can hit us, and then once they hit us, it'll cause us to teleport. In my opinion, it looks cool, but it's not got that many good uses to it. That being said, though, we are pretty much done with this section, so we're going to go ahead and drop back into the water. So we're about to be against some, um, uh, quite a few enemies. So I'm gonna go ahead and rest. Fire some more skills. Breath of Nature Light. Recovers posture upon executing a successful death blow. This one's awesome. I especially like uh, whenever we start being able to recover health upon executing a death blow as well. <coughs> anyway, we're gonna go ahead and rerun this little section here. If you don't wanna rerun it, just run past the enemies, that's fine. This place gives us really good um, return on investment though when it comes to levels, so I tend to like this place quite a bit, especially early on. Again, pass these guys up for the guy who runs. Oh, come on.
number one. We're already at another one. Okay, so we'll go ahead and jump in the water, and we're gonna climb up here. Got another eavesdrop opportunity here. Okay. So before we go in there, we are going to go down here. Now you want to be careful as you're going down here because there are actually two of these enemies down here. We want to just incite one of them to chase us. Come on. So Makiri counter him. Got another level. Same thing for this guy. He has a little bit more health, but not by much. So now we got a pellet, a bulging coin purse, amiibo. Let's see, is this one a new one? Yes. So uh, this one is going to acquire more resurrective power. So if we're in an area where we need to resurrect a lot more commonly, a lot more often, we can use this ahead of going through an area because it allows us to farm resurrective power as we kill enemies. So we're going to head back up and off to the side. There's an item to get here. Another maybe possession balloon. And then we're going to finally head in here. We got another one of these wall jump areas. Out here we have some oil. <coughs> and we have a sculptor's idol. So we are sitting around 40-ish minutes, and the next area is going to take us a little bit longer to go through, so I think I'm going to go ahead and reserve Juzo for the next episode. But until then, thank you everybody for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and as always, take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.